What's up guys, it's Victor here. I'm just gonna review the JGM70 today um, as people have been requesting me um, about this video. So this is just a case I bought at Academy uh, for like, I bought it for really cheap. I think it was like less than $20 and it's what I keep it in. As you guys can see, it's actually the perfect length for it. Uh, so I'm just gonna put, take that out. I mean, um, so here it is. I have attached a four times 32 scope on it. Um, which works really well and I uh, the brand is Simons as you guys can see let me turn it over to this side so you guys can see um, so the review on it uh, I'm just gonna go over the body real quick and then I'll go over the the specs on this um, and I'll do a chronoing test later as well so starting out the back we have a rubber uh, a rubber back right here it feels uh, good uh, against the shoulder uh, you have a polymer stock and the whole body is um, polymer from this part everything here is polymer um, this is polymer the the uh, trigger is metal however and the charging handle is metal sorry this uh, gun is dirty right now I don't really clean it because uh, I mean nobody it makes it went down it looks better to be honest in my opinion uh, so basically everything's polymer except the the bolt the trigger the screws the safe and the full metal barrel except the tip which is plastic but nobody really cares about the tip anyways um, I have painted that black but as you guys can see the paints kind of coming off already a little bit so I'm gonna have to do that again um, it does look very nice with a 4 times 32 scope. Um, just holding it up there so you guys can see what it looks like. It's a very nice gun. Has hop up. Uh, the FPS on this. I'm actually going to do a chronoing test right now guys. But uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the performance of this gun. It's very accurate. I've been having it for about. Not even sure how long I've been having this. I think for a year already. Uh, it The only cons to this is that you have to point the barrel down and pull the charging handle back um if you don't point it down while you load the gun or while you pull the charging handle back um it'll actually jam the gun so make sure that whenever you load this gun you keep the barrel pointed down pull back the charging handle and you're good um that's really it uh, another thing is the hop up doesn't work that well on it but I always keep my hop up off and somehow I'm still able to get um, kills at ranges of about 200 between 200 and 250 feet with this you seen point two weights it's actually really accurate with point two weights that's what I use with this um, it's a uh, it's a really good sniper guys if you guys know how to sight in your scope also I mean you'll you'll be deadly with this thing I'm telling you man the mag is polymer it holds um it holds i believe it held 15 rounds they sell them on airsoft websites like e-bike and airsoft gi uh relatively cheap i'm not sure about airsoft GI, but i know e-bike has them for about six bucks i think last time i checked um i can't really pull out the mag right now here we go um this is what it looks like it's all polymer um nothing really bad about it you can actually load it down to the last BB and it's not gonna fly out on you or anything um so that's it for this rifle guys uh, I'll see you guys let me get my chrono out and I'll see you guys when I get outside okay guys so I'm back and I forgot to tell you guys that uh, loading this rifle is relatively easy if you uh, shoulder the weapon and pull the charging handle back it's really easy I already have it loaded with point 20s and um, I'm too lazy to go outside anyways and it's raining so you guys uh, probably wouldn't be able to hear me anyways with all the rain so I'm just gonna shoot first shot here it goes uh... 370 second shot here it goes 404 I'm gonna take three more shots and then we're done 404 again
cord shot. 357. And it appears as if the rifle has jammed. Um, so that's there. You guys can see how I didn't really point the, the barrel down too well. So let me load it again, um, and I'll be right back to you guys. Okay, so here it goes. Uh, that was a bad shot. I probably shot the side of the chronograph. Here it goes again. Three hundred and ninety five. Three hundred and ninety eight. And last shot, you guys. Three hundred seventy one. So as you guys can see, um, it does shoot around between the three hundred and fifty feet per second and four hundred feet per second with point twenties. So you'll probably be hitting around that three hundred twenty feet per second with point two fives. Um, so that's my that's it for my review on this, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.